good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Day of Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we do have our MDT Live full roster update for 2020 following Hell's Gate. Obviously, you guys watched that show. If you're watching this video, if you didn't, well, Brad, you must be living under some sort of secret society, civilization, submarine, Sally Wagon. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and dive into the MDT Live roster. Very important stuff going on here today. We had a lot of shit take place at Hell's Gate, which we covered in the last last Vindication roster video. If you guys missed the Vindication roster video, definitely go check that out if you're checking out this one. But let's go ahead and dive into it, guys. We gotta start off with the champions. You gotta start off with the MDT champion, the big dog, Roman Reigns, leader of the bloodline with the Usos. Roman Reigns and the Usos are the MDT champion and the MDT world tag team champion. And one thing I'll talk about is a lot of people get confused on like how I have two MDT tag team champions. Well, you gotta think of it like this. It's kind of like back in the day in the Ruthless Aggression era on Raw they had the you know the WWE World Tag Team Champions and then on SmackDown they had the WWE Tag Team Champions so it's the same sort of you know case right here with the pink titles those are the World Tag Titles and then the zebra stripe blue straps that the Young Bucks have those are the MDT Tag Titles so the only thing that is different about them is that these are the World Champions they are just the Tag Team Champions it's just to you know sort of decipher between the two and that, that that's the reasoning I've had a lot of people just curious and kind of wonder about that. I thought that was pretty obvious, but to just clarify for those out there that didn't know, now you know, Brad. But let's dive into it, guys. You got MDT champion Roman Reigns looking like a bloody mess following the MDT Elimination Chamber match at Hell's Gate. And he's a bloody mess. I had a lot of fun making this custom attire right here. I just kind of threw some parts together and put some Cena shorts on here, put some Uso legs. A lot of people were complaining about the skin tones. They don't completely match. But I wasn't going to paint these calves. I may now because the show's over with and it's just like, you know, yeah, it is kind of bothersome, but during the show, he was inside the chamber. It was kind of hard to see anyway. I mean, I guess it wasn't that hard to see, or people wouldn't have called it out, but you know, yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, Roman Reigns looks great. I love this attire for him. I do have to get the blood off his face or just switch the head sculpt. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but the MDT champion is looking pretty good after retaining that championship, but you guys know that he has a date with Seth Rollins at My Damn Nation, right? We have Seth Rollins taking on Roman Reigns for the MDT championship because because Seth Rollins won the Royal Rumble. Roman Reigns retained his championship, so this is the matchup that is set. But Seth Rollins has a lot of enemies, man. I mean, him and the Shield imploded, and then you had him win the Royal Rumble, MDT champion Roman Reigns with the bloodline, and then Dean Ambrose. It looked like Dean Ambrose was going to be, you know, helping out Seth Rollins. They looked like they were going to focus on the bigger enemy, not each other. They were going to go after the Usos, who are the World Tag Team Champions. They were going to focus on them, try to capture those titles at Hell's Gate. Dean Ambrose said, F you, bro. What are you talking about? Hit him with the dirty deeds and they lost that matchup at the end there, and he turned on Seth yet again. So there's a lot of unanswered questions right now. Dean Ambrose, where is his head at? You know, what is he thinking? We know that he's not in Seth Rollins' corner anymore. We know that they did lose those World Tag Team Championship or that, that matchup versus the Usos, and this is our matchup going forward right now. We have Seth Rollins taking on Roman Reigns. So there are all those talents. Obviously, we just covered everything that took place right there between all these guys. So Roman Reigns and the Bloodline are still running rampant. I mean, they got to feel good. They both retain their championships coming out of Hell's Gate. So, I mean, that's what you want as a faction, right? All of your guys retain their titles. They're feeling good. Dean Ambrose, you know, he, he didn't give a damn about the World Tag Ch Team Championships. He's been feuding with the Usos and the Bloodline as well. And Seth Rollins is right there. He took him out. I mean, my God. Next up, guys, we have a few more champions. We do have Kevin. Oh, my God. John Cena took the hit the deck there. So, we do have Kevin Owens, the Extreme Champion, who did take on Buddy Murphy at at Hell's Gate. And Buddy Murphy is actually officially part of the roster now. Buddy Murphy has officially joined the MDT Live roster. And this roster is stacked, Brad. I don't care what anybody says. I personally think the MDT Live roster is more stacked. Let me know down in the comment section below. Do you think the Vindication roster or the MDT Live roster is more stacked? Because I personally think MDT Live. I could be biased, you know, but I mean, when I look around this roster, man, there's so much talent that it makes you want to shit yourself. But Buddy Murphy did come up short against Kevin Owens. They had a fantastic match. That was a very fun match to film. The Extreme Championship Division, which is what Kevin Owens is. I think he is the longest reigning Extreme Champion now. He's been dominant. He's taken out Buddy Murphy. He's taken out John Morrison. He's taken out No Way Jose, Bobby Trashley, Christian Ryback. I mean, the list goes on and on. The man has taken them out, and Buddy Murphy is added to that list. I don't know where the hell his list is. He, he had a, a, a hit list of KO. Where the hell is that thing? Alright, so I had to leave the room, but I found it. It was still in the arena, so <laughs> So right here, we do have the hit list of KO. We brought this out at 
Hell's Gate. And if you guys can read this, I don't know if we're going to be able to get in here and read this thing. But it does say Pretty Boy Johnny. That is going to be John Morrison. Number two, Freak with an Afro. That's No Way Jose. Bobby Trashley. Gender Football. Edges for him, which is Christian. The Feed Me guy, which is right back. Seven is Heath Slater, the guy that, that guy who has kids. And then eight, whoever the hell I'm fighting because he didn't know who he was going to fight. It was a secret opponent taking place at Hell's Gate. It was Buddy Murphy. And now Buddy Murphy has been taken out by Kevin Owens. So Kevin Owens has ran through them all. I don't know what's planned for this man for My Damn Nation. I mean, who the hell's next? Who is he not wrestled? Who is he not defeated? Who, you know, isn't already engaged in something? So we're just going to have to see what takes place. But Kevin Owens is your extreme champion, still running rampant. And Buddy Murphy is the newest addition to the roster. Following Hell's Gate, we had some more guys added. So this is, uh, this is excellent news for the rest of the roster. Buddy Murphy did a fantastic job, and he put a lot of people on notice at Hell's Gate. Our last champion is the United States champion, Jack Swagger, looking ultimately fire right here in his suit and his U.S. championship, and he is a part of a faction as well, or not really a faction, I guess they're just sort of a group right here. They're technically a faction, I guess you could say, but he does have MVP, and he also has Zack Ryder. They're all decked out in their America colors, and they represent the United States, and you know, they took out Kurt Angle, who actually fell back here, so I'm going to have to pick his ass up, so that's funny that uh, you know, I say he got taken out. Yeah, he's already taken out in this video as he has busted his head wide open right on the table. But all these guys are still a part of the roster. Kurt Angle, not a full-time member of the roster, kind of in that free agent pool with The Undertaker, not fully signed to a, a full-time deal, you know, wrestling the live events and things of that nature. So Kurt Angle just sort of appearing right now, and he is engaged in a feud over the United States Championship with Jack Swagger. So we will just have to see what takes place with these guys moving forward. They obviously all got into it at Hell's Gate, and these four guys are a part of the roster, at least at this moment, but Kurt Angle is not an official member, but our U.S. champion is Jack Swagger, and all four of these guys are in a feud right now with Zack Ryder and MVP engaged with their, their leader, Jack Football Swagger. Moving on, guys, we do have the MDT Money in the Bank holder right now, as dubbed by Eric Bischoff. We have John Cena, who returned as the Doctor of Thugonomics at Hell's Gate. He looked like he was going to cash in the Money in the Bank contract. You know, he cut the promo. He wrapped on Roman Reigns' ass. He had the freaking Money in the Bank contract ready to go, about to cash in. And then out of nowhere, Brad, RVD after uh, RVD after being run over a week before sold out or the week after sold out, he comes out there. I think it was a week before sold out. It was like MDT Live episode number nine. RVD gets hit by a vehicle. Nobody knew what the hell was going on. He been, he's been out for months. He returns at Hell's Gate and he says that John Cena was the one who ran him over. We do not have specific proof of that yet, but if the man who got ran over by the truck comes out and, you know, he had his Money in the Bank briefcase pretty much taken from him by Eric Bischoff, no decisions were made. The, the briefcase ultimately ended up in the hands of John Cena, and now RVD returns once the Money in the Bank briefcase back that, you know, he never lost, and John, he, he accuses John Cena of running him over in the parking lot, and given the attitude that John Cena has had over the last few weeks, I mean, I don't know if I would put it past him, but but RVD did chase John Cena out of the arena. I guess on the next episode of MDT Live, maybe we'll have a little bit of answers. But John Cena and RVD are tangled up right now with the Money in the Bank briefcase all involved. Who the hell knows what we're going to get out of this thing? Did John Cena run over RVD? RVD says he did. We'll have to find out. But I'm super excited to have RVD back on the roster. He was killing it before getting taken out. Won the Money in the Bank briefcase. Had all the momentum in the world. Former Extreme Champion and uh, John Cena, former MDT Champion. So we got two great talents tied up right here. The newest addition to the tag team division, guys, is the Jurassic Express and Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy. So both of these guys made their debuts. After Rated RKO attacked the World Tag Team Champion Usos, the Jurassic Express and Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy did come out, and I am working on making him taller. He's actually not too, too much taller. I think the figures just don't do it justice here, but Rated RKO, who did attack the World Tag Team Champion Usos, were out there, and then out of nowhere come the Jurassic Express. Express. So it looks like we have three teams tagged up for the World Tag Team Championships. Who knows what we're going to get. All three of these teams involved in the World Tag Team Championship picture right now. Rated RKO in Randy Orton and Edge. Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy as Jurassic Express and the Usos. Obviously, I don't think Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose are going to be going after those tag titles anymore following what happened at Hell's Gate. So I am excited for what's going to take place. Three great teams. Three great teams battling 
for those World Tag Titles, and maybe we'll get a big old match at My Damn Nation or something like that, but I am super excited to have Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy added to the tag team division, and I'm sure that they're going to make a lot of noise, and Rated RKL have been, you know, chilling in the back, waiting for this opportunity, and they took it at Hell's Gate, so my God, man, we got a lot of talent right there. Now we're going to get into some top contenders over on MDT Live, guys, guys that are near the top, specifically, they competed in the chamber, you know, they were right there. Dolph Ziggler came out, and he has always been a pretty big part of the roster, you know, he was a part of the first Money in the Bank, he had a good showing at the Royal Rumble. CM Punk was actually lined up to be in that Elimination Chamber match at Hell's Gate, but he was attacked from behind and replaced by Dolph Ziggler, so I'm sure he's going to be very upset about that and pissed off at Dolph Ziggler, so I don't know what the hell's up with Ziggler. He didn't win the championship, so I hope that shit was worth it, attacking CM Punk. You also have a top talent in Jeff Hardy, Cedric Alexander, Chris Jericho, and Velveteen Dream. All these guys right here are all near the top battling it out. I, I would even throw, you know, Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins in here. I mean, RVD and John Cena. We got a really big top division right here, man. A lot of talent just battling for the top, putting in work. Cedric Alexander's been on fire. He had a great showing. He has put in great matches. He had a, a terrific Royal Rumble. Tons of momentum coming in. Came in third in the chamber. Velveteen Dream's had an excellent career early on in his MDT Live career. Chris Jericho and him are battling right now. I mean, they have been just getting in each other's head. Pretty much cost each other their po their places in the Hell's Gate Elimination Chamber when they were so focused on each other that they took themselves out. Jeff Hardy, another excellent member of the roster, part of the first money in the bank. I, I am very happy with the top division level on MDT Live. I think there's so much talent. It's really hard to get it to go around, but for some reason, it feels like the Vindication roster is larger to me. What do you guys think? Let me know down below which one you think is larger. But we got a great set of talent right here who all battle for the top positions on MDT Live. And going into My Damn Nation, I mean, what are those guys going to be thinking, you know? There's not a huge amount of number of places on the card, so we're just going to have to see about that. Other good talents that we have, guys, we have Neville in here, who looks like an absolute boss. He was a part of the first Money in the Bank. So was Christian, which is kind of hard to believe, huh? I mean, they, they've they've had their good showings, you know? They haven't been complete wastes of space on the, on the roster. Apollo Crews, he's been a part of the Royal Rumble. Shelton Benjamin, former two-time United States champion. We got Gender Football in here, who has been running around trying to capture that extreme championship we have no way jose who is a fan favorite never won a championship but everyone loves no way jose i think anybody who's watched the pick fed from the beginning would tell you that no way jose is uh is one of their favorites to watch on the mdt pick fed and uh he is finally returning him bobby lashley bobby trashley i should say Bobby Trashley, No Way Jose, and John Morrison should be returning very, very soon after what happened to them at the Royal Rumble in that fatal four-way death match with Kevin Owens. After all four, I mean, the, the, John Morrison, I don't know if he's going to be back right now because he did get package pile drive onto the hood of a car, so I don't know about that one, but these three guys have been through hell, and it looks like they may be back in action soon. We have Heath Slater and Ryback, who have been disposed of by Kevin Owens as well, who are back here. You know, they, they make their way around the, t around, the, around the world, and then we got the New Day, who are a part of the tag team division, who we have not seen in forever. We have not seen these guys. We've seen Kofi here and there. We've seen, you know, Big E uh, and Xavier and promos and stuff, but we have not seen these guys all tie up in the ring. We have seen him participate besides Kofi. Kofi has recently participated. He was a part of a qualifier match. He was a part of the, uh, the, the, the Royal Rumble match and he has been a part of some things but the New Day as a whole really has fallen off since winning the World Tag Team Championships. Losing those things to the Shield they have not been seen around a whole bunch but they are yet again still a part of the division right there so we really only have four tag teams it looks like so not a lot of tag teams to go around but I think that about does it for the full MDT Live roster guys. Again let me know what you think down below as far as the Vindication and MDT Live rosters. I personally think that the MDT roster talent for talent is better but I would love to know your thoughts down below. Also does it also also feel like to you that the MDT Live roster is a little bit smaller than the Vindication roster. I would also like to know that down below. But that is going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. Comment down below what you think of everything. Which roster is your favorite? Which talent is your favorite from the MDT Live roster? What's your favorite championship? You know, let me all let me know all the good shit down below. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. MDT Live coming very soon after Vindication is posted. Still haven't really worked on it that much, so I do have to get started on on that. I'm still trying to finalize scripts and stuff like that, but it will be here soon. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. My name is Toys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.